NFL playoffs are about to start, and today I'm going to be doing the destroying, all right? NFL players, listen up, all right? You guys may know how to play football, but pick your fragrances, I don't know. Maybe not so much. <laughs> today, I destroy NFL players' favorite fragrances. Let's make it happen. Down. Set hike. Blue 42. Blue 42. Omaha, Omaha. <laughs> What's going on, guys? My name is Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I talk about fashion and fragrance on this channel, mostly fragrances. So if you're into fragrances and fashion, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. That way you get notified anytime I upload new content on the channel. All right, guys, so you see the title of today's video. I guess I'm not gonna really going to be destroying NFL players' favorite fragrances because at the end of the day, uh, scent is a very subjective thing. And what one person likes, the next person may not. And that's perfectly fine. But I did want to go through, I think I have 12 players here, and just kind of talk about and react to what some of these guys in the NFL are wearing so we're just gonna have a little bit of fun with this i actually started uh doing videos like this maybe about a year and a half two years ago um and i've done several like this so it's just fun sometimes to kind of look at these gq videos and see what some of these guys are wearing and i thought it would be fun to just kind of do that since we're going to the nfl playoffs really soon here and do it and just feature players from the nfl now i know a lot of you you may be like me and you would think you know when guys make a lot of money you know, I'm pretty sure they could afford whatever they want to afford as far as fragrances, and they probably can. And the thing is, you'll see with this list that, you know, how much money someone makes or whatever the case may be does not determine their fragrance of choice. So you're going to see that kind of stuff on the video today. So I'm excited to do it. Like I said, we got 12 players. We're going to be reacting to their fragrances. There's a series that GQ runs called uh, 10 Things I Can't Live Without. And a lot of these guys like to smell good. It comes as no surprise to me because I played sports myself in high school. And a lot of the guys on the team, whether it be basketball or football, that was one of the things, man. Everybody used to love to smell good. Now, we were doing it, of course, with Clinique Happy and Polo Blue and uh, things of that nature. But you're going to see that, you know, sometimes things may not change. Some guys may get hooked on a fragrance early and keep that same fragrance regardless of how much money they make. But this is going to be a fun video. So after the intro, stay right here. We're going to get into it. Be right back. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to jump into this video. First and foremost, guys, I want to become the fragrance um, guy for the NFL guys. All right. So they tell me what kind of scent they're looking for, some of the things that they're looking for in a fragrance, and they come to me for the fragrance advice. All right. So I'm going to be like the liaison for the NFL moving forward. All right. So if you NFL players, any of you out there watch this video, hook my brother up. All right. So I'm going to be like the fragrance guy for the NFL. What y'all think? All right, so first up, guys, on the, on the uh, video today on the list, we're going to talk about a guy that plays for the Buffalo Bills, Stephon Diggs. Now, Pro Bowl player, one of the best receivers in the league. So I know he can catch the football, but how is this fragrance style? You know, let's take a look and find out. One of my favorites. This is actually a fresh bottle, so if I catch anybody using it, it's gonna be an issue. But uh, I gotta have some some type of fragrance, especially uh, cologne. I usually sometimes I actually use women's because it smells better. And sometimes uh, with your body chemistry, it's a little better. So gotta have it. Yeah, if I could describe the smell, um, I say it was a little bit more airy, um, and it's not delicioso. Uh, I think. I think it's, <laughs> it's scrumptious. <laughs> uh, I would describe it as uh, it's light on the nose. It's not going to be overbearing. I don't like to be overbearing. Like when you walk in a room and somebody says, damn, what is that smell? I just want to be like, damn, that smells nice. Well, I wonder what that is. So, 
I've been trying to smell good for a very long time. I would say like my mom kind of taught me that growing up, um, a couple of things that you should have is like nice shoes, nice smile, and you should smell nice. So I kind of took that from my mom. Shout out to my mom. I used to dip in my dad's like uh, smell goods and kind of like spray a couple of times and, and run off, but I kind of started there. All right, guys, so as you can see, now, first of all, now, I'm going to tell you this, and you probably would already be thinking the same thing. You know, when it comes to fragrance, and I don't think the NFL guys are the people we're going to look to to be able to describe a fragrance that good, all right? And he said, scrumptious or a delicioso. <laughs> All right, so it's cool, it's cool. I don't expect them to describe it like we would describe it. But the particular fragrance that he saw that he mentioned was low. All right, now that is the only fragrance I think that I don't personally own on this list, but it's an aromatic fougere. So it's probably gonna give you that very traditional feel. Obviously some lavender, basil, kind of citrus opening, musk. The typical fougere fragrance, that's what it looks like when I actually look this fragrance up. It retails for around $110 or so, so it's not super expensive. And, um, you know, for a guy like him, if you heard uh, what he said, mom gave him some great advice going, growing up. And like a lot of us, our first experience with fragrance is our father and uh, the man in our lives, whether it be a father or uncle or whomever. And, you know, wearing fragrance or Old Spice or whatever it was back in the day. And, uh, you know, going into their little stash and spraying on ourselves and, smelling good that's the, the our introduction a lot of us into uh fragrances so kind of nice hearing that story mom gave him good advice smell good wear good shoes i always tell you guys that but um again as you can see with that fragrance choice you know obviously it's not about how much it costs or what's super popular because i haven't really heard about that fragrance so you know ups to stefan Diggs, as you can see his scent of choice is a fragrance called low which honestly i don't know much about all right, and next up we have NFL MVP candidate Jalen Hurts. All right, Jalen Hurts. And, you know, I'm not going to say anything bad about Jalen Hurts just because I'm a Cowboys fan. I actually like Jalen Hurts. All right? And I actually hope that that man wins the NFL MVP. I hate that he got hurt. You know, he's going to kind of take a hit on his chances, I think. But, you know, overall his play on the field, I think he deserves it. Now, with that being said, let's see what Jalen Hurts says is his favorite fragrance. Let's roll the clip. My cologne, you always have to smell good. So this is my favorite right here. Lafayette Street, number nine, bond number nine. This is my favorite cologne. Funny story about this, so I was in the mall in Florida. Me and my teammates were working out. We was throwing out there. We had got the guys together to go work out. So we ended up running past this, this woman selling cologne at the mall. And we was just trying stuff. And she gives me this one. I'm like, this the one. But then she told me the price. And I said, that ain't the one no more. <laughs> I ended up buying a whole bunch of the little small ones after the fact. You know, my pops put me on cologne. I got out of my ways from him, so he my hero. Really? R really Jalen Hurts? Come on, son. What the fuck is the deal? Come on, son. Now, all right, listen. I don't knock anybody for being frugal because I guess a lot of people look at that as a positive thing because you heard about a lot of NFL players that I make a lot of money and they spend it frivolously and then they end up with nothing to show for it when their careers end. So kudos to him for, uh, I guess you would call him being a little bit, um, you know, cautious with how he's spending his money, but still, come on now. Jalen Hurst, if you like a, if you like Lafayette Street, come on, man, you can get more than a sample. Come on, man, get a 50 ml bottle of Lafayette Street. I mean, <laughs> not it's super expensive, but anyway, as you can see, Lafayette Street, obviously, I would say Jalen Hurst has taste in fragrances, all right, because he had Lafayette Street, and you also saw that he had two fragrances from Burberry, uh, which is Burberry for Men, the original, as well as um, Burberry London, which I told you guys is a 10 out of 10 fragrance, so I definitely think the guy has taste when it comes to fragrances. Again, my only small quarrel, Jalen Hurst, come on, man, get yourself a full bottle, all right? Well, I'll say this. Let's do this. When you get your new contract, because obviously you got some money coming, go ahead and get yourself a full bottle of Lafayette Street, man, and put the decant to the side. All right? <laughs> next one. All right, now next up, guys, we have Kavan Thibodeau. It seems like, you know, we're on this little run here with NFC East foes, you know, with me being a Cowboys fan, but it is it is what it is. Kavan seems to be a very cool guy. All right, so let's see what his choice of fragrances are. Good. 
So when it comes to smelling good, I always gotta keep at least two or three on me. And right here I got the Dior and I got the Gucci. But of course, you know, I like to really change them out depending on where I'm going, depending on what the night's gonna be. But I say this is probably one of my favorites because it's real smooth. And you know, might as well give it another squirt. So you know I gotta keep more than one. And I say that because there's always somebody that got the same cologne as you. So if I catch somebody that might smell like me, I'm changing wardrobe and I'm throwing on the other cologne. And if you're ever worried about continuity, yes, I did change watches. Bruh, I thought I fucking told you. All right, so, so we have here, he chose Dior Sabah, not surprised, very popular fragrance, and Gucci for men. All right, so that bottle that you guys see, that's not Gucci Intense Oud, that's actually uh, Gucci for men, I think that's what it's called. That's a really light fragrance. It smells good, but it's really, really light. So he's probably gonna have to be spraying that on multiple times during the course of the day because the performance really sucked on that fragrance. Um, I've had it before, and I actually took it back and exchanged it for something else because the performance was just that bad. But anyway, it smells pretty good, and obviously, you know, Dior Sauvage is a very popular fragrance. And... Um, you know, again, so I, that is not surprising to me as well that a lot of these guys, you know, go into the store sometimes and get the very popular fragrances. I'm sure he's heard a lot about Dior Sauvage. Um, and it's one of those DNAs that when you smell it, I mean, most people, especially if you're not into fragrances like that and you know about the kind of, I guess, semi-negative uh, feedback that it gets. And it's just ironic that he said that he wants to wear this fragrance because he don't want to smell like any anybody else, but... <laughs> <laughs> Just note to Kavon Thibodeau. With Dior Sauvage, you're going to be smelling like everybody else. I mean, hate to be a bearer of bad news, but everybody wears that. And that's kind of the negative feedback that it gets in the fragrance community because it smells great, but everybody has it. So, again, let me be y'all fragrance consultant. I could have told you, we got to go with something else. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. Next up, we got one of the fastest players in the NFL, probably the fastest player in the NFL, and probably related to me somewhere down the line. And if he is, Mr. Tyreek Hill, if you see this video, please send your little cousin some money, all right? <laughs> nah. But Tyreek Hill, man, uh, of course, Pro Bowl receiver, used to play for the Kansas City Chiefs. Now he plays for the Miami Dolphins, and it's unfortunate that they're going to miss the playoffs because you know, uh, Tua really can't stay healthy. But, you know, I hope that he can. Hope that he can continue to play football, but when you start having a lot of concussions, then you know how sometimes that ends up. But anyway, Mr. Tyreek Hill, let's see what he has to say about his favorite fragrance. My first essential is none other than Tom Ford Cologne. When I was back in high school, I was just using Bob. You know, I wasn't able to afford, you know, some certain kind of things, you know. So I upgraded once my father put me on to Tom Ford. You know, I was using other colognes like Creed, Gucci, and all of that, but Tom Ford really stuck out to me. It gives me that manly smell that I really need. I just like to smell good. Look good, play good, feel good, pay good. You know, I'm the cheetah, baby. All right, man. So, Mr. Tyreek Hill, his favorite fragrance is Noir de Noir from Tom Ford. If you could not see it clearly, that's the bottle he was holding, which is a beautiful rose fragrance. Now, as a fragrance, although Tom Ford is a popular brand, I don't think a lot of people are going to be wearing it, especially guys, because a lot of guys don't get in the rose. But I love Noir de Noir. I think it's one of the sexiest fragrances, especially rose fragrances on the planet. So, nice fragrance, nice choice, atypical. Not something that I would expect a lot of NFL guys to be to know about or be wearing. You know, a funny thing that he said, of course, back in the day, he used to wear by. Listen, if you wanted to smell good and you didn't have a lot of money back in the day, we wore stuff like that. I used to wear by uh, the most wanted because it smelled like Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. But, so I can relate in that regard. But, you know, Tyreek is a, a Pro Bowl player making a lot of money now. So now he's rocking some Tom Ford. So, shout out to you, Tariq Hill. Like I said, I think we're cousins. Send me a few dollars. We'll talk about that another time. But nice choice on your fragrance. Let's go to the next one. All right, guys. Next up, we got my man D-Hop. Of course, a.k.a. DeAndre Hopkins. Is now playing for uh, the Cardinals down there in Arizona. Uh, Cardinals not having the best year. Uh, but anyway, D-Hop is still, I think, one of the best receivers in the NFL. So, let's see what he is wearing. Got the best cologne here in the world. Mason Margiela replica, jazz club. This is something that I can't live without. Fellas, once you try it, you'll say the same. Cause once you walk past a girl and she's like, well, you go on a date with me because the way you smell, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's so delicate, man. I don't, 
Gotta... Don't bring your girlfriend around right now. It's Jazz Club, Brooklyn, 2013. That's the province and period. I don't know if Brooklyn really smelled like that in 2013. This Brooklyn 2013 smelled like a piece of heaven. Like, uh, you can almost eat it, man. I can't be without it. Okay, D-Hop, I see you. D-Hop is wearing that Jazz Club from Mason Margiela. Again, not a fragrance that I would expect a lot of guys to really know about. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure he was in a store and somebody introduced him to it. Uh, Cause the Mason Margiela, you know, that whole line is not a super hugely popular uh, fragrance brand, but Jazz Club, amazing fragrance. One of the best ones I've seen so far uh, from these guys in their lineup. And you heard what D-Hop said, man. You put that on, you walk by a girl and she gonna wanna go out with you. <laughs> D-Hop, don't say that too loud. There's a lot of people that will take issue with you saying that. <laughs> Y'all heard that, man. He said, don't bring your girl around here wearing that Jazz Club, man. Listen, it is an amazing scent. I love that whole vibe. It gives you that Jazz Club vibe with that you know, with that slight booziness and, you know, that kind of, I call it kind of this tobacco, coconut kind of feel that I get from it. Amazing fragrance, man. So, look, shout out to you, D-Hop, man. I think that's a really, really good choice. Something kind of off the beaten path from probably what a lot of these other guys are wearing. So, let's go to the next one. All right, guys, next up we got another wide receiver who's now playing for the uh, the Saints. We're talking about no other than Jarvis Landry. So, uh, my man Jarvis Landry, let's see what he is rocking. My next essential is my YSL cologne. It smells very good, I love it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and hit myself right now. This is like my day-to-day, -day, like what I smell like every day. I mix it up every now and then if I'm going to dinner, or, you know, depending on where I'm going, but like this is like my day-to-day -day smell right here. So YSL Y, as you heard what Jarvis Landry said, I wanna give him some props on what he uses that fragrance for because I think he really Nailed it with this one, man. YSLY is a heavy compliment getter, and I think it's the perfect day-to-day -day fragrance. It sounds like he kind of wears that, you know, as like a signature scent, but he did say that he has some other stuff that he wears for, you know, more dressy occasions or dates and stuff like that. So I think that's the way to go about it with this fragrance. So, you know, again, no quarrels from me, nothing bad to say. It's an amazing scent, and I think he is using it in the right way. So, okay. Good job, Mr. Landry. Let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, next up, we got uh, an amazing linebacker out there in Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Unfortunately, in about two weeks, they won't be playing anymore. <laughs> the Cowboys are gonna send them home, okay? Well, we're talking about my man, Devin White, uh, Pro Bowl linebacker for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Let's see what my man, Devin White, is rocking. So right here, my first essential is some Creed. This right here is my favorite cologne. My grandmother always told me, every time you go out, uh, you get out the shower, put a little on. You know, you're going to smell good. You know, it's just a man thing to do. Something I've always been big on. But when I got to the NFL, this was one of the first colognes that I ever bought myself. <sighs> this right here smells like success. You put this on right here, it's going to be a good day. OK. One of my favorite go-to fragrances as well for like a day to day. As you can see, my man said his grandmother told him, well, when you go out there now, you need to smell good. <laughs> uh, you know, so grandma gave him some great advice growing up, man. Like I said, that's one of the things that a lot of women will tell you. They love a guy that smells good. So a lot of times, especially uh, women are going to give men that advice, you know. So great advice that he received from his grandmother growing up, just to spray a little bit on when you hop out the shower, man, you know, you know, just to make sure that you're smelling your best. And um, at the end of the day, like I said, a vintage cologne to me is one of those fragrances that you just cannot go wrong with it. One of the first fragrances he bought, he said for himself, and I'm pretty sure it's something he's probably going to stick with because you can wear that anytime, anyplace, anywhere, and it's going to work. So nice choice, in my humble opinion, by my man, Devin White. But again, at the end of the day, my man, you got about one or two more weeks and you're going be, to be going home. Well, this week and then next week will be your last game. Let's move on to the next one. All right, man. Looks like we're going back to back with these gentlemen in this uh, amazing linebacking core, I must admit, from Tampa Bay. We're looking at my man, Levante David, another Pro Bowl linebacker for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which, of course, as well, Mr. David, you have, after this week, one more week to be playing football. You guys are going home in about a week when you take on the Cowboys. More than likely, that's going to be the matchup. But anyway, let's see what Levante David is wearing. 
Now right here I got my cologne, my bond number nine. You gotta have cologne as a man, I feel like, you know, you wanna always smell good, maybe on special occasion, special events, going out to dinner, things like that. Just walking by people, people get a whiff for you, you know, you smell good, you know, everybody like good compliments. And I feel like wearing this bond number nine give you that, you know, that compliment that, that you may need. You know what I'm saying? Your day might not be going good, you pop on some bond number nine, you walk outside, somebody will say, oh, you smell good, and you, that's all you need, and ain't day going better. I feel so proud. As you guys can see, I think I'm one of the first people in the fragrance community that really started talking about Lafayette Street from Bond Number Nine, and that's the second NFL player on this list that said that this is one of their favorite fragrances. Now, what I love about Levante David, man, and what he said, you know, it kind of touches on a topic that we talk about a lot in the fragrance community. I don't think anybody wears a fragrance to just to get compliments. But as he said, it's just something that does make you feel good when you're wearing something, you walk by somebody and they say, hey, what is that you're wearing? Or they say, you know what? You smell really nice today, man. So, you know, like I said, that's how I feel. That's how I view it. I could go the rest of my life without a compliment, but I'm still going to wear fragrances because I love it. But it does not hurt when somebody acknowledges that you smell good. So shout out to you for saying that, Levante David, because we, we're here. All right, but we're also here on the fact that you got one more week to be playing football this year. You know, and you sound like you seem like a good guy, but you gotta go home next week. <laughs> All right, next one. All right, next up we got a wide receiver who, yeah, used to play for my Cowboys, but now he's down there in Cleveland. Uh, Mar, you can come on back, man. You know, we, you know, I know we got Ty, we got CD, we got you know Noah Brown, you know, and Gallup, but you know we. we might be able to use you next year, you know, so if you want to win again, come on back to the Cowboys. But Amari Cooper, man, so let's see what he's wearing. The Baccarat Rogue 540 by Mason Francis. I think it's the absolute best smelling fragrance in the world, hands down. And I, I can't live without it. When I played in Oakland for the Raiders, I had a teammate who would wear it every day. And I would smell it. And at first I was just like, kind of smells good, but he just kept wearing it every day. And I just was like, man, I, I gotta know what that is. I, I need that in my in my repertoire, right? So I went up to him, I'm like, man, what, what, you, what you got on? And he told me what it is, and the very next day, I went and caught me some. If I thought it smelled good on him, then I knew my girl would think it smelled good on me. All right, so the very popular Baccarat rules. First of all, uh, Mr. Cooper, is not rogue is is baccarat rouge all right you know but that's okay that's okay that's okay i can see where i can see how you thought that but baccarat rouge 540 like i said very popular fragrance he smelled another teammate wearing it and that is one of those very alluring scents man if you smell somebody wearing that every day and you're not and you're not used to it that's one of those scents that is going to make you more than likely inquire about what the heck is that that you are wearing but it is hugely popular a lot of people wear it so still a great scent but again if you had that same mentality like my man earlier and you don't want to smell like anybody else, like Mr. Thibodeau, that may not be the scent for you, but it does smell great. So overall, good choice. But it's Baccarat Rouge and come back to Dallas. All right, guys, next up we got uh, another Pro Bowl guy here, Laramie Tum Tunzel, who's an uh, offensive lineman. So let's see. This is a big guy. Let's see what Mr. Tunzel is wearing. All right, so this is DGO. Man, this is AK Cinnamon, man. This is the first smell of, of cinnamon. That's why I call it AKA Cinnamon. It's one of my favorites and this is a must have. This is Chanel Blue. I really don't have to say much about this. This is a statement right here. I'm just gonna leave that at that. Cologne is very important to me. This is this is like probably my number one that I gotta have. All right, so Laramie Tunzel, man, two of the most popular designer fragrances in the world. Uh, you know, of course he had Blue de Chanel and he had Aqua Digio Profumo. Uh, once again, guys, now I will say, you know, that this is proof that you can listen to NFL players when they tell you what something smells like. Because Mr. Larry Tunzel said that Acadigio Profumo smells like cinnamon. <laughs> no, no. It doesn't smell like cinnamon, but that's cool. Two great fragrances. Two very easy to wear, dumb reach fragrances that do smell amazing. And I just want to say props and shout outs to the big man because he said, we need to smell good. He needs to smell good. He loves smelling good. So I'm with you on that, man gotta smell good man we guys especially you big fellas out there man wear your fragrances smell good you know what i'm saying Not just for these wide receivers you offensive linemen need to be smelling good too so shout out to you mr tunzel let's go to the next one all right man next up we got my man 
OBJ, Odell Beckham Jr., man, which is probably another guy that's going to be a Dallas Cowboy next year. I don't know. He might. But if we got him, Amari, CD, and all that, it might be a little bit more of a, a crowded wide receiver room, but we'll take all the talent that we can get down there in Big D. So let's see what my man OBJ is rocking. to keep the smell, the smell good on you. Um, and it's just funny, this is kind of like, this is probably one of the first colognes I ever bought like myself. Someone got it for me and I just, it's just kind of like my scent, you know? It's just something that I've had for the longest time. It's like me, like it just smells like me. And whoever else uses it, but it's just my scent really, that's how I feel. Wow, that is a very sentimental fragrance for me as well, man. Sean John's Unforgivable. As you saw, we have a similar story with that fragrance, me and OBJ, because that's one of my first kind of signature scents as well. I wore that for a long time as a signature scent. Again, it smelled a little bit like Creed, Millicent Imperial. You know, you guys have heard that, heard the story, but, you know, as he said, that's kind of his signature scent. And it's like that for a lot of people. Some of the, the first fragrances that you get, although I'm sure he's probably evolved and gotten some other fragrances as well, but a lot of times fragrances like that uh, that we wore one of our favorite scents, one of our, our first scents, a lot of times we tend to go back to it, man. So shout out to OBJ. We kind of share that story. I know he's a November guy just like me as well. So that reason, wearing, you know, Unforgivable, all the more reasons for you to come on to Dallas next year. <laughs> all right, let's go to the next one. All right, guys, and last but not least on the list today, we got my man Tyron Matthew, the honey Badger, who's been a, a one of the best corners in the NFL for a long time now. Let's see what my man Tyron Matthew is rocking. My favorite cologne's called Creed. I put this on, um, you know, if I'm having an interview, uh, if I'm going out, if I'm getting fresh for for a football game. This is kind of my go-to. It's just a nice old school smell. It's called Green Irish Tweed. Gives you that old presidential, like who is this guy? What does he do? What does he do for a living? Kind of smell. So. Smells pretty good. I think it's extremely important um, how you smell, you know, obviously before you open your mouth. Um, I think people um, are, are willing to embrace guys and girls that, that smell really good. I probably wouldn't wear the Old Spice with the Creed, if that makes sense. Um, I probably wear my Chanel deodorant if I'm if I'm if I'm wearing the Creed cologne. All right, man. So shout out to the Honey Badger, man. That's his nickname, the Honey Badger. You know, and the Honey Badger is rocking that GIT, that Green Irish Tweed. Amazing scent, classic fragrance. The fragrance came out in 1985, and it sounds like he knows what to do with the fragrance, man. He says he wears the wears it to business meetings and that kind of stuff. Again, very versatile scent. It smells great. Um, I think, of course, it's a great signature scent. So, Mr. Tyron Matthew, Honey Badger, great choice, in my humble opinion, on one of your favorite fragrances, man, because Green Irish Tweed is a classic. But that's it, guys. That's my time, man. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was just kind of something fun that I wanted to do is I kind of react to NFL players and some of their favorite fragrances. As always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your boy Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.